guest tonight co-stars with Norm MacDonald on the ABC television series Norm. Please welcome very funny guy, Artie Lang. Now, where are you from, actually? You're from... I'm from New York. Oh, New from... Jersey. New, New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bruce, right, Bruce? <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, Max. <laughs> he doesn't hear the new music, uh, all right. It's just, actually, it was just this guy I know, Bruce. Oh, there you, you're excited about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now you're in, you live in Los Angeles then doing this show. Yeah, I live in L.A. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not good there for me because uh, I'm not, like, outdoorsy or anything. Right. <laughs> And people like, I like to bet on football games and stuff, mm -hmm. and the football games don't start, they start at like 9 in the morning out there. Mm -hmm. So if I sleep till noon, which I usually do, the Giants are already lost, you know? <laughs> they, they lose quickly. Yeah, yeah. they lose, uh, the, the, you know, and people always, on Sunday mornings, people like to go hiking. They say, hey, Art, you want to go hiking? Right. And I go, are you even looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I would clearly have a heart attack if I went. <laughs> it's like I think they want to want me to die or something. Not at all. No. That's, that's why I like coming to New York because uh, they got steakhouses here. I like going to steakhouses. They don't have a lot of steakhouses in L.A. It's more no. <laughs> they, no, they don't. They have like sushi joints out there and stuff. Yeah. I like steak, you know, but I overeat at steakhouses. Mm -hmm. I like eat to the point right before a heart attack. You know? <laughs> I just kind of clutch up like. <laughs> Like that, and then uh, I, I like. To <laughs> you're, I like. You're having one now. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. Oh no, all right. I'm alright. Just let me get a little uh, boot. Our guests are falling apart tonight. Uh, um, do you play? Uh, well, are there any sports that you play? Is there any any activity like I that? I like you? playing softball. But I, I used to be in this, softball's the only sport that you can play and actually gain weight while you're playing. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I used to play in this league, I used to play in this league in Jersey where um, it was a softball league and each base was a quarter keg of beer. <laughs> Seriously, so you had a cup in your back pocket. <laughs> When you got Seriously? to the base, you filled up, yeah. That's a real incentive to steal second, <laughs> wouldn't you think? Yeah, but the, 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 the games were like at 6 o'clock on a Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. So, you know, <laughs> by 6.30 you're sloshed on a Tuesday, and then you had to go, you know, you had to go to work the next day. But I didn't really work a lot. <laughs> really? I combated that by not working. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> you showed them. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Do you, uh, now you, you, sound, you sound like a real hardcore sports fan. Do you actually, do you bet on the games? Oh, I bet a lot on games. Well, no, I used to bet on games. <laughs> it's all legal what I do now. Everything I do now is legal. <laughs> yes, Artie, yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> but Continue. I used, to, I used to bet on the Giants all the time. The Giants had this guy on the uh, radio, this guy Jim Gordon, who always made mistakes. So if you had, uh, had a bet on the game, <laughs> it was real frustrating because he would literally say stuff like, uh, Sims drops back, looking for a receiver. He's going way deep, long, long, way down for Baker, baby! Touchdown, Giants! No, he dropped it! <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mega takes the ball at his own 42. He breaks a tackle. He's across midfield, 45-30, 35-30, 25-20. He's by the kicker. He'll score! No, he stepped out at the five! <laughs> So one time he was on the radio and I had a bet on the game. I had a huge bet and the Giants uh -huh. had the ball on the one yard line. Uh -huh. And I really needed the score, you know. And uh, this is what he said on the radio. I'm not making this up. He went, Giants have the ball first and goal from the one. Tillman the lone setback. Hand off Tillman, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he went, maybe. No, wait, I can't see it. <laughs> now a word from Toyota. <laughs> He you, threw it the commercial. I had to wait to go out on the radio. What are you talking about? <laughs> My college tuition is riding on it. <laughs> oh. Now you yeah. you talked about it. Oh. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Sorry. No, as you can tell, I didn't I didn't go to college. <laughs> That didn't so work bad. out for you, did it? I ain't good with the book learning. Uh, oh, Jethro, you are too. Now, you've talked about, you've talked, these are the themes you've introduced, drinking and gambling. Right. Now, well, do, you, do you, not, you... Well, it's not a good idea to mix vices. You know what I mean? That's what my... Kids, <laughs> listen to him. You're okay with any one vice, right. just don't mix well, that's it? What this, that what this guy in rehab told me that, don't mix vices. <laughs> Or maybe it was prison. I don't know. I was. I spent a couple of days in the joint once, but I don't want. You're to not sure that. what kind of joint it was. 
you in prison or rehab? Oh, no, well, no. I'll find out later. This guy told me in rehab, don't mix vices and stuff. But but the best two vice, vices to mix, if you're going to, is drinking and prostitution. <laughs> don't you think so? Yes, yes. <laughs> what are you talking well, about? Well, it's good if you get drunk and then get a prostitute. That's fine. But where it hurts is if you uh, get drunk and then prostitute yourself out. <laughs> You make a few dollars, but you feel bad in the morning. <laughs> As I said before, Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. This is the Christmas show. Uh, no, actually, you know, when I was in high school, this teacher told me once that uh, I was going to either end up, when I grew up, I was either going to end up in jail or on TV. And I've been able to do both. <laughs> in a weird... Today and go, you see? That <laughs> teacher's watching right now and he's very proud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, now, uh, t now tell me about the show Norm. Things going well on this show? What's the, what's the mood there? Oh, things are going great. Norm just got nominated for a People's Choice Award. Not the show, Norm MacDonald, the actor. <laughs> Which is weird, because I, I always say, I mean, Norm is great. He's like one of the funniest guys i ever right, met in my right. life. But um, it's weird that uh, people would uh, watch that show and single out his work. <laughs> because I think he's, like, clearly the worst actor on the show. <laughs> Norm is the worst actor on the show, except, Norm. Oh, except for, <laughs> it's called Norm. Except for me. I'm worse yeah, than okay, me. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. I'm not as good. But there's great actors on the show. Right. But he's, uh, he's, uh, he's nominated for a people's show with, like, Shasta McNasty or something. Right. <laughs> Who's also a great actor. Did you ever see his show, Shasta McNasty? I haven't caught that one yet. No. What He's, network is that? that that's UPN? I, something like that, yeah. Okay. Well, clearly you're a big fan. <laughs> it's on the network I'll only be working at after this appearance. <laughs> What do you get their holiday gift? Uh, no, but uh, he's a great guy to work for because he's really easy going about stuff. Like, I, I blew off a couple of days' work. I lied to him and told him I was sick to go to the Yankee game <laughs> to see the World Series, you know, right. but they found out that I was... I lied to them, and they don't like that when you lie to them and stuff. <laughs> Especially like me, because I'm not really that famous. I'm like the fifth lead, because I, I, I could easily get fired. You know? right. So I show up uh, in L.A., and I come off the plane, and I'm real like, I got, I was sleeping on a plane. I go right to work, and I got bedhead and stuff. And, and, uh, and the, one of the producers says, you know what, Artie, you really should apologize to Norm, because he's the one you hurt the most, right. you know, by doing this. And I go, well, you know, I know Norm. I don't think he really cares. But So I go up to Norm, and I go, hey, man, I'm sorry about the Yankee game. He goes, what are you talking about? I bet the Yankees. <laughs> so he's, he's cool. Yeah, he didn't right? even realize that I was not there. <laughs> He was doing the scene with my stand in the whole, <laughs> all week, and I mean, I only had like six lines and stuff. But it's a great, I got like six lines a week, and I get like 30 grand every Friday. <laughs> Sitcom yeah, stuff, I should man. get into that sitcom this stuff, This is a yeah. bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I'm very well aware. You're working your ass off here. I'm here every night I'm dancing around like a monkey. Talk to a schmuck like me and... <laughs> 30 grand, man. You get me here. I have to say, this is the most honest thing anyone's ever said on, a, on our show. Literally, you know what the show is? Norm says to me, are you thinking what... I go to Norm, are you thinking what I'm thinking? And Norm goes, no, I'm not thinking of cheeseburgers. And then I go, well, then what are you thinking? And then I, I leave and I get a check. <laughs> what do you think, these clothes grow on trees? <laughs> yeah, this I is the good watch. stuff you got here. All right. Well, uh, Norm is on Wednesday at 9.30 on ABC. Norm, or as, or as you call it, the gravy train. No, the meal ticket, The man. meal ticket yeah. on Wednesday at 9.30 on ABC. <laughs> Artie Lang, thanks a lot for hey, coming thanks, by. Thanks, Great to have you. Okay, we'll be right back to Sloan. Stick around.